Hello everyone. I'm Yoshio Kikuchi from Fukushima University, Japan. Uh, thank you very much for a uh, great opportunity to uh, give you a talk to here today. Uh, today, uh, I would like to introduce activities related to archaeology and uh, cultural heritage in Fukushima and raise some problems on which we need to think now. Fukushima Prefecture is located in the northeast of Honshu, the main island of Japanese archipelago, about 200 kilometers away from Tokyo. Tokyo Electric uh, power companies, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is located at the border of two towns, Futaba and Okuma, facing on the Pacific Ocean. The massive earthquake occurred at 1446 on 11th of March 2011. Magnitude of the earthquake was 9.0. The this slide is tsunami disaster in Shinchi Town, located on the coastal area of Fukushima Prefecture. Settlements located the coast the coast were completely destroyed. Earthquake and the following tsunami caused the absolute power cut on the nuclear power plant. As a result, fires and explosions broke out at four power plants out of six between 12th and 15th of March. Great, great amount of radioactive materials have been released to both land and sea. Large area in eastern Japan, especially northwest of the power plant, has been contaminated. Influence of radioactive contamination is still there. The area with high radiation exposure level was divided into three zones. All citizens, about 80,000 people, were not permitted to live in the area and evacuated and stayed outside. The total area of three zone was about uh, 1,150 square kilometers, August uh, 2013. And the evacuation order has been gradually lifted from April uh, 2014. Now it is 370 square kilometers. <clears throat> this slide showed the change of the evacuation order. Now it is about one third of the maximum, uh, August 2013. Uh, this, this picture is same uh, Okamura's. Uh, influence of radioactive contamination is, uh, oh, so, sorry, sorry. Uh, Cultural heritage in Fukushima are damaged a lot by this earthquake. It is notable that uh, there are more damages on immobile heritage. On the contrary, tsunami damage as seen in Iwate and Miyagi prefectures was not so serious in Fukushima's case. The picture is Rikuzen Takada City Museum in Iwate Prefecture, totally damaged by tsunami. But 
There is a most serious issue happening just in Fukushima due to the evacuation of the area with radioactive contamination. Lots of cultural heritages are left unattended in the evacuated zone without care and control. <clears throat> Uh, this picture shows the collapsed stone wall of Kominejo uh, Castle, nationally designated site in Shirakawa City, Fukushima. In case of this castle site, stone wall collapsed, collapsed at 10 spots. In Fukushima, rescue works for cultural heritage is left unattended in the evacuated area started since 2012. Fukushima Rescue Headquarters for Damaged Cultural Properties is exclusively working on the rescue within Fukushima Prefecture. It was primarily aiming at rescue and restoration of cultural heritage left unattended in the evacuated areas. Now, rescue of public cultural heritage, three museums of Futaba, Okuma, and Tomioka were finished on March 2016. About 3,000 boxes of them were brought to the temporary storages newly constructed by Prefecture Board of Education in Shirakawa City. <clears throat> Here, uh, I would introduce when we worked on rescue operation on a statue of Buddha in Futaba town, located about three kilometers away from the nuclear power plant. <clears throat> Before entering the evacuated area, uh, we had to change to the protective clothing. At first, we inspected the temple where the statue was put into. Next, measured the radioactive rebel and wrapped up to carry it out. Finally, moved it to the temporary storage. <clears throat> Rescued cultural heritage were brought to the temporary storages newly constructed with state subsidy. There are five buildings, each is about 100 square meters, but are almost full now. And the facility is only for storing, and it is hardly possible to all the utilizing activities like exhibition and research. After lifting the evacuation order, few citizens have returned to their hometowns. For example, uh, the citizens who have returned to Tomioka town, Fukushima, now are 5% before the order. In, in the meantime, a project of preserving Fukushima earthquake disaster legacy was newly set up by people at museums in Fukushima Prefecture in 2014. And some local governments have organize, organized a new, new body to preserve heritage that have not been well known, well known in addition to enacting new local regulations to preserve all heritage. <clears throat> This slide is a special exhibition of the, Earth, uh, uh, the, the earthquake disaster legacy at Fukushima University. On the exhibition, many things were displayed, including a police car struck by tsunami, uh, road signs bent by tsunami, and so on. The earthquake disaster legacy gave big impact to meet uh, most of visitors 
and strongly appeal for the necessity and the importance to preserve. The left picture is news of the local public magazine of Tomioka Town, which asks for preserving cultural properties in each home. The right is a news item which reports enacting a new local regulation about the preserving the earthquake disaster legacies of Tomioka Town. <clears throat> And the next picture is the leaflet of a symposium on cultural heritage in Fukushima after the earthquake and the nuclear accident. These actions in Fukushima have begun to affect people in their localities and researchers in the Japanese academic world. <clears throat> In the damaged area by the Great East Japan earthquake, rescue ex excavations have been carried out by local governments since 2012, arranged and supported by the Ministry of Culture Cultural Affairs. These were occurring mainly in coastal areas where new excavations had been done and have, have, and, and have helped recovery while bringing new historic information. A total of 400 staff who were sent by the other local governments, one of, uh, Okam uh, one of uh, them, Okamura, all over Japan <clears throat> worked for the rescue ex excavation in damaged areas. <clears throat> New emergency rescue excavation have finished now, now, sorry, uh, now. Emergency rescue ex excavation have finished. But another kind of excavation, especially coming from sand extracting for public works, have been increasing instead. <clears throat> The picture left above is Tenkazawa site, Minamisoma city. Substantial iron melting facility about eight century were found. The picture right above is the open day of Sakurada site, Hirono town, Fukushima. The picture below are rescue excavation of Azumacho site, Minamisoma city, Fukushima, and uh, right uh, group housing built after the evacuation. Uh, excavation, sorry, excavation. <laughs> In 2014, Japanese government had determined to construct the intermediate storage facility for decontaminating de 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 radioactive materials extending over Futaba and Okuma town close to the nuclear power plant. There are many archaeological sites in the area. So Ministry of Environment, Ministry of Cultural Affairs, Fukushima Prefectural Government, and two towns government discussed this problem. They decided that they avoid excavating this site by changing the part of construction plans all they could. But the impossible case for that would occur. They ex excavate that site by normal processes and methods. <clears throat> the excavation in the area had not been done until 2017 with efforts of all concerned. But it was decided at last that the site in Futaba town will be excavated this autumn. <clears throat> Fukushima Prefectural Board of Education will carry out the uh, excavation, and archaeological staff of that will work for it. It is probably the first uh, excavation in the nuclear accident areas of the world. 
it must attract cons considerable attention of great many archaeologists. So it is necessary that Fukushima Prefectural Board of Education will endeavor to open the information about the ex excavation to the world. <clears throat> the picture left, uh, this picture is the conception of the intermediate storage facility. It is about 16 square kilometers. Uh, the picture right above is one of the storage facilities. We can, we can, find, uh, we can see crane trucks in the white tent. The facility is very huge. The picture right below is the distant view of the place we'll excavate, Doyasak site, Futaba town and soil bags waiting disposal. So now, based on my talk till now, I would like to raise here the issues related to archaeology and damaged cultural heritage in Fukushima. Firstly, in Fukushima, uh, recovery from the greatest Japan earthquake and the nuclear accident on archaeology and cultural heritage is not finished even now and doesn't seem near to the end. Secondly, experience, experiences of rescue and recovery activities on archaeology and cultural heritage will be useful for disasters in the near future, but are little known by foreign countries. In the, uh, we need to put together all information about them and send it worldwide. <clears throat> Thirdly, I once proposed that we should set up a center facility museum for earthquake disaster in Fukushima, but I'm sorry that we don't have good promise for it till now. In any case, we need to continue to do steady actions for archaeology and damaged heritages and to send and exchange information worldwide for the future disaster. Uh, that is all for my today's talk. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.